us. Evening. Everybody. Evening. Evening. Good evening. Evening. Hey guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Okay. How are you? Everything okay? Yeah. Okay. How are you, Tell me. How are you? Fine. Good. All right. Listen. We're going to begin with the session. It's nice. I'm pleased to be with you. We're going to begin. Just give me a second. I'm going to find something. All right, I'm going to start and I will pass the tenants, please. Once you listen to your name, remember, say present. Let's begin with the tenants. Alejandro? Present, teacher. Here. Claudia Garcia. Present teacher. Elmi Mendoza. Elmi Mendoza. Okay. Okay. Edith Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Vasquez. Eduardo? Present. Thank you. Evelyn? Present. Thank you. Fatima? Present. Thank you. Griselda Garcia? Present teacher. Thanks. Griselda Mendoza? Present. Ingrid? Present. Thanks. Iris? Iris? Present. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Irving? Present, teacher. Yeah. Sorry? Present, teacher. Thanks. Karen Ariola? Present teacher. Kevin? Present teacher. Okay. Lea? Present teacher. Marcelino? Marcelino? Here. Okay. Marta Alvarado? Present. Arvin? Arvin? Arvin is not here, okay? Continue. Uh, Mirna Batres. Present, teacher. Mercedes. Present. Mirna Zuniga. Presente. Norma. Present teacher. Oscar. Oscar. Here. Paula. Presente. Thank you. Lando. Present teacher. Thank you. Roxana. Roxana, here. William Vasquez. Present teacher. Here, Jennifer. Present. Yeah, thank you. And Yolanda. Present teacher. Thank you. I can you mention now? Yo, Cadelme. Yo, Delme. Sí, este, yo acabo de entrar, teacher. Yeah. No problem. Thank you. 
Parvin, is Parvin here? Now, okay. Thank you. All right. Um, well, please remember, switch on the cameras. Alma, can you switch on the camera? Okay, I will take some screenshots, guys. Please. Let's go on the camera free. But I'm going to make a full I'm going to make a full up. I'm going to make Uno, dos, tres. Very good. Give me a second. I'm going to take another one. Okay, um, let's see. I'm going to share my screen. Just give me a second. Here we go. Oh, by the way, I want to I want to ask you this. My screen has been full. Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. 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 Recuerden de que sus nombres, sus nombres en, en la barra, es decir, cuando estamos acá todos en la videoconferencia, que estamos en, en, en el video, tenemos todos nuestra cámara activa. Al, al lado derecho, bueno, aparecen sus nombres y sus nombres deben de aparecer a completo, tal y como aparecen en el lugar. Recuerden, si solo tenemos un nombre o un apellido, está bien, siempre y cuando aparezca tuyo. Nos recalcaron eso este día. Nos pidieron que les recordáramos, les informáramos acerca de eso. Que aquí en Sapor, uh, pues lo, lo piden. ¿Okay? Por favor, y tengamos nuestras, nuestros nombres completos de, en, en cuanto a nuestro perfil. ¿Okay? Tal y como parecemos los dos. Lo otro, mantener las cámaras en su sentido. Es obligación para ustedes hacerlo. Es que no sé, alguien no tiene, no le funciona su cámara pues, eh, en esta situación, pero espero que lo antes posible pueda utilizar su cámara. A lo otro es con respecto a, a Zoom. Lo que quiero que hagamos todos es que estemos verificando si la aplicación está actualizada, se mantiene actualizada. Yes. Tira un mensaje de actualización, actualicemos. ¿Por qué les digo esto? Nos informaron, nos indicaron acerca de eso también. Y es con respecto a, al tiempo, a los minutos que ustedes están activos. Si, no, si tenemos una actualización que es anterior, que ya es vieja, al parecer está dando problemas con algunos usuarios, ya que no les cuenta todo el, el tiempo. No sé por qué, ya es problema de la, de la aplicación teacher, y es por la actualización. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Perdón, teacher, ¿y usted podría indicarnos, no sé si es muy complicado que nos digan más o menos qué usuarios tienen ese problema? Porque por lo menos sí? yo, eh, ah, perdón, dígame. No se preocupe, no se preocupe, termine si gusta. Y sé que en realidad... Eh, no. Um, Perdón. Dígame, 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 no preocupes. No, lo que le iba a decir, lo que pasa es que me cuesta encender el audio. Lo que pasa es que piense que por lo menos yo es primera vez que descargo la aplicación en la computadora. Yo siempre lo he usado como en línea. No sé si, si será lo mismo o tendría que actualizarla siempre la, la aplicación. Oh, o se está desde la web. O en la no, 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 descargué la aplicación. Oh, uh -huh. okay. No, la tuve que descargar. Sí, porque está la aplicación de la web, que es esta. 
me imagino que todos la tenemos. Uh -huh. um, pero más algunos probablemente, pero quizás le recomendaría que ingresáramos o te, tengamos la, la aplicación instalada. Porque a veces la web da muchos problemas. Entonces, pero si tenemos la aplicación, no hay ningún problema. Lo que les recomiendo es que revisemos, solo que no me recuerdo muy bien dónde es que se ve ese detalle, pero creo que es en general. Cuando ustedes ingresan, o bueno, bien si la, en la aplicación debemos de verificar. Si gusta más adelante, les puedo indicar dónde podemos nosotros verificar si la aplicación está conectada. Que si nos, nos, nos recomendaron y nos dijeron que les avisáramos acerca de eso para que ustedes tengan actualizada la aplicación porque eso no les va a dar problema. Creo que ya se dio algunos casos y quería decir eso siguiente. Eh, en sí, en sí, no sé, en mi caso, no sé um, de aquí del grupo si alguno es el mismo problema, pero yo podría consultar, es decir, saber quién es el problema, ya que yo sí actualizo la lista de asistencia eh, de forma digital, pero en cuanto a todo ese proceso de de verificar a qué horas entraron, a qué horas salieron, etcétera, o si fueron todos los 60 minutos, no llevo ese control. Así es que sí puedo ver si tienen 60 minutos, si tienen 0 minutos, si no, eso es presente. Pero en sí, en sí, no tengo ese dato específicamente, pero lo puedo consultar. Y quiero decir en ese momento que se puede compartir para que ustedes verifiquen si la aplicación está actualizada. Mm. Igual, siempre cuando ustedes ingresan, les tiran un mensaje. Les tiran un mensaje de una actualización. Entonces, si le dimos a actualizar, no se preocupe. Si no se ha tirado otro mensaje, probablemente no haya otra actualización. Pero si desean verificar para estar más seguros, claro, lo podemos hacer. Solo que no me recuerdo ahorita dónde es que se verifica. Que si usan más adelante, más noche o probablemente mañana, no puedo verificar. ¿Eh? Um, ¿Qué más? Solamente es, oh, parece lo que me recuerdo. Quisiera saber si todos enviaron su comprobante de manual, de manual. Sí, teacher. Sí, sí, teacher. Sí. Sí. De hecho, sí, teacher. Este, ya enviaron el examen de confirmación, el, perdón, el mensaje de confirmación de que está recibido. Sí. Thank you. Si alguien bueno, quisiera saber, la pregunta ahora es, ¿quién nos la ha enviado? ¿Quién nos la ha enviado? El comprobante de entrega de manual. ¿Quién? ¿Todos? No tenemos ese inconveniente acá en el grupo. ¿No? Ok, estamos bien entonces. Yo ah, no la he mandado todavía. ¿Cuándo no la ha mandado? Dice Mendoza. Okay, no se preocupe, uh, solo le pido de favor que sí, ¿no? porque también se nos, se nos indicó eso, que hay, hay algunos participantes que no lo han enviado. Hay grupos, por ejemplo, que no, no han llegado al, digamos así, al total. Son 30 participantes como en ese grupo, solo lo han enviado 15. Entonces, deben de enviarlo lo antes posible. Caso suyo, es cierto. Y este, y, y, este, bueno. y este lo han mandado al grupo, Ticha. Sí, de hecho, varios lo compartieron en el grupo WhatsApp. Se lo muestro acá ahorita. El ente es mi Ahora no sé. Ese es el comprobante de entrega de manual. Presenta. Ese se debe descargar, descargarlo. Ah, ah ese es el comprobante. ¿Ya lo envió? Uh -huh. ¿O no? Sí, ese sí ya lo envié. Ah, ok. No se preocupe. Si ya lo envió, estamos bien. No se preocupe. Ok, entonces estamos bien todos. Solo los que están, no están acá. Vamos a preguntarles después. Bueno, vamos a continuar. Ahora, ahora quisiera saber si alguien ha tenido algún problema en la plataforma. ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Todo bien? Disculpe, teacher. <coughs> sí, es que yo como he tenido que trabajar un poco y estaba viniendo como a las 8, 8 y media aquí en la casa, no, no he tenido tiempo de, de hacer nada prácticamente en la plataforma. No sé si eso es un problema o, 
porque yo el fin de semana estaba pensando en llenarlo. Ay, no sé si es un problema o se tiene que hacer Hoy, esta semana. Ahorita porque iniciamos y bueno, ahora terminamos con la semana 1, tendrían que tener un poco avanzado, pero en sí en sí tendrían ya que estar completo la sesión. Sección 1, todo. Así es que no se preocupe, William, puede usted ponerse al día. Por supuesto, si, si avanza más, todo es para, para todos. Pueden ir avanzando, recuerden. Avanzar lo que ustedes quieran. ¿Okay? Si desean ir al ritmo, al, al, al contenido que llevamos, por ejemplo, que vamos a ver ahora. Claro, está bien. Pero el sí en sí, ahora, por lo menos tendría que estar explicado en la sección. O parte de la primera sección. Sé que se ponen al día ustedes viernes o fin de semana. Pero sí es muy importante que vayamos a tocar. No todavía no puedo ser Iniciamos, iniciamos una semana. Ahora terminamos la primera semana, por cierto, y después iniciamos la segunda semana. Si alguien más ha tenido algún inconveniente antes de iniciar. Sí, yo también no, no he trabajado en lo que es la plataforma, por lo mismo, por el trabajo, pero de igual forma pensaba hacerlo tanto ahora y mañana y el sábado. Creo claro. que ahí me pongo. Claro, claro. No se preocupe. Si puede avanzar más, excelente. Si se si queda hasta la sección 1, no hay ningún problema. Lo importante es que sí, por lo menos ahora o durante el fin de semana, tengan completa la sección 1. Porque así es como vamos. Pero prácticamente en la semana 1 y la semana 2, si podemos avanzar más, va a ser mucho mejor. De la semana 1 y la semana 2, vemos las tres secciones. Sección 1, sección 2 y sección 2. ¿Eh? Que debemos avanzar un poquito más en la sección 1. Por lo menos a la mitad de la sección 2. ¿Eh? Bueno, no sé si... Yeah. ¿Alguien más? Yo, eh, yo teacher. ¿Ya me con la plataforma todo está bien. Pude descargar todo, pero tuve problemas con el internet estos dos días. Oh. Y hasta ahora me pude conectar. Claro, claro. No se preocupe. Uh, bueno, eso lo, lo, lo dije en la, en la primera clase. Recuerden que deben de mantener el 80%, lo repito, 80% sí. de asistencia y 80% de plataforma. Lo eh, sé. Con la plataforma ustedes pueden intentar muchas veces obtener ese 100%. Todo, ¿ok? De todo. Con la asistencia, sí va a ser un poquito más um, claro de que es 80% y si faltan una o dos sesiones y no que les esté recomendando o quiera que hagan eso, creo que les estoy poniendo de ejemplo, una o dos sesiones, digamos así, se completa el 80%, pero debemos tomar en cuenta que si iniciamos o ingresamos cabal a las 9 y nos salimos a las 10, se completa la hora. Si ingresamos a las 9 y 13, 9 y 20, y nos salimos antes, por ejemplo, 9 y 45, por ejemplo, se les cuenta solo esos minutos y eso le va descontando más. Por lo tanto, también nos trae que se faltaron dos veces y ingresamos una vez tarde, por ejemplo, ya se les va disminuyendo, ya no va a ser ese suficiente, va a ser menos. Porque me calco eso. Y recuerden, ustedes me podrán decir, a veces en alguna clase, a, le pido permiso para faltar a esa o no estar en esta sesión, pero esto, esto y esto, que está bien, yo entiendo, pero ya no corre por mi cuenta. No corre por mi cuenta porque a, yo no reporto, es decir, sus, sus asistencias, lo que es simplemente yo solo actualizo mis cuadros. ¿Ok? Entonces, sí quiero ser bastante claro con eso, para que después no diga, ah, aquí ya yo le avisé y no, no me tomo en cuenta mi permiso, porque esto ya es de ese por caso del dentro operativo. Eh, dígame. Perdón, respecto a lo de Zoom, en mi caso, el ayer y ahora, no he podido entrar desde la aplicación, sino desde, desde la web. No sé si hay problema en que me cuente los minutos. No, bueno, yo creería que no, porque como está ingresando con su usuario, no hay ningún sí. problema. No hay ningún problema. Ah, bueno. Creería yo que no. Así es que 
si no le, por ejemplo, le contactan o le dicen que qué está pasando porque tiene pocos minutos, creo que no hay ningún problema. Tengo entendido que no. Bueno, no. gracias. Okay. Hola, buenas noches, teacher. Perdón por la interrupción. Sí, solamente no, quería decir que yo tuve inconvenientes con la conexión a internet, entonces por eso es que me he conectado hasta ahorita. Sí. Yeah. No problem, no problem. Thank you for informing. Oscar, it makes nice to have you in the class. Por cierto, antes de... Vamos a iniciar, vamos a iniciar. Y quisiera saber si hay alguien más está pendiente en la lista, además de Oscar. Roxana? Marcelino? No? Okay, let's continue. Now, yes, let's begin. Uh, well, today is Thursday, May 20th. 2021. This is session number four. The topic for today is the verb be. The verb be. Let's start with the verb be, right? Today we will focus on the affirmative in negative form. Okay? Let's begin. Let's begin with this. Right. The verb be. What is the verb be? What is the verb be? Am or is. Am or is. That is a verb. Verb. Am or is. We have three forms. Am or is. Okay. Now that we know the verb, we have different subject pronouns. Do you remember subject pronouns? I, you. Do you remember subject pronouns? I. You? He. He. She. She. It. It. We. We. You and they. We, you and they, okay. Those are subject pronouns. Subject pronouns. Or personal pronouns. We saw them in the previous classes. I, you, he, he she, she, it. it. We, we, you again, they. Those are the subject pronouns. And we use them with the word be. That is a way. This is a way. We say, I am. I am. That is it, the word be. I, I am. I am. With you, you are. we, and they, those pronouns, you, we, and they, we use are. You are, we are, they are. And with he, she, and it, those are other subject pronouns, we use is. He is, is, it is. Again, he is, she is, it is. Okay? That is the way we structure or we use the verb. Remember again, the verb be is, am, or is. Am, or is. I am, you are, Eduardo. We are, friends. They are, Vierna, Griselda, and Evelyn. He is, William. She is, Belmi. It is, a cat. Okay, that is why. Of course, we will have some contractions, remember, contractions. With affirmative form specifically. Contractions. Okay, here we have the contractions. We have something that is called a long form and a short form. Una forma extensa y una forma corta. We say, forma corta is a contraction. We can say, um. I am. Am equals I am. Am o. Am o. Am o. You are. We you say you are. That is a contraction. You are. You are Eduardo. You are Eduardo. You are equals you are. His. Let's go with his. Yes, 
it equals he is his Rolando his Rolando he is Rolando his Rolando he is Rolando next cheers 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 equals she is she is she is Mercedes. She is Mercedes. That is the show form. This is the construction. She is Mercedes. Next, X. X. That is the contraction. It equals it is. It. It. A cell phone. It. A cell phone. It's a cell phone. It is a cell phone. It is a cell phone. We, we're, 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 we're friends. We're friends. We're equals we belong. We're friends. We're friends. We are friends. You, in this case, is for Pluto. Your, Mirna, Griselda, and Evelyn. You are Mirna, Griselda, and Evelyn. Your, your, your equals you are. You are. And the last one is there. 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 There, there, sorry, there equals they are. There, there, William and Norma. There, William and Norma. They are William and Norma. That is the way we use contrastions. We can use long forms and short form. It's up to you. It's up to you. Okay? Questions about this? Me vuelvo a sacar. We use these contractions. We use these contractions. Teacher. Only with affirmative Excuse form. me. Yeah, tell me. Gracias. Ayúdeme. Con your, en la, en la pronunciación de you, you are, you are your, ¿verdad? Your, your, your. Listen. Your, 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 your. En la forma contractada, ¿verdad? Yeah. Is the contracting your. way. Your, your, okay. your. Listen again. Your. Um. Okay. Thank, um. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um. Um. Your. Your, his, 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 it's, it's, we're, 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 your, your, there, there, there. Okay. Again, we can use long forms and short forms. Podemos utilizar formas extensas, podemos utilizar formas cortas. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Probablemente short forms or contractions, that's much better because when you speak, you speak fluently or faster. Okay? Cuando utilizamos contracciones, pues tendríamos a, a hablar más fluido o más quizás, rápido. No es la idea de, de ir corriendo, de ir uh, hablando y no que caso pues más fluido okay let's go with the other part now let's go with the formulas we follow some formulas let's begin with affirmative affirmative form okay we follow the, this formula we have subject plus the verb to be plus complement again Subject plus 
The verb to be, what is a verb to be, by the way? Um, 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 are, 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 are is. is. Um, or it, yeah, that is a word to be. Finally, we have a compliment. Let's see some examples. Again, I am, so we identify the parts of the speech. Subject, I, verb to be, what is the word to be? Um. Um, um. and the compliment? Oh, oh, oh. Right? oh. okay. Another example, he is Josue. He is Josue. You can say his Josue. His Josue. His Josue. He is Josue. Again, subject, verb to be, and complement. Yeah, he is a subject, verb to be, is, and complement, Josue. Next. She is a teacher. She is a teacher. Or she is a teacher. She is a teacher. That is a contraction. All right. What is the subject? She. 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 Verb to be? Is. 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 And the compliment? A teacher. Teacher. A teacher. A teacher. Yeah, teacher. that's right. Teacher. And the last one. They are friends. Are friends. They are friends. What is the verb, the subject, sorry? They. 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 What is the verb to be? Are. 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 And the compliment? Are. Friends. 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 They are friends. They are friends. Or they are friends. They are friends. They are friends. Okay? This is the way we structure the affirmative way. Or the affirmative part. I need to know if you have any questions. Preguntas, dudas, algo que no está claro. El verbo be vendría siendo to be. Yeah, yeah, to be. Which time to say verb to be? Verb be or verb to be? It's okay. Verb be or verb to be? The same. Or be or be. Yeah, exactly. We know it in Spanish like cero está, right? Very good. Can you give me some examples with affirmative form? Who wants to try? Volunteers? Examples? Ingrid? He, he is intelligent. He is intelligent. Exactly. Orlando, I think you want to participate. Orlando? I am, uh, I am Rolando. I am Rolando, okay. Excellent. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm Rolando. I'm Rolando, yeah, that is the chauffeur, right? The contraction. I am Rolando, I'm Rolando. Okay, thank you. Irving, please. You are a teacher. Okay, you are a teacher. Okay. What is the contraction, Irving? Your teacher. You're a teacher. Okay. Thank you. Yolanda, please. My mother is beautiful. Yeah, my mother is beautiful. Very good. Let's continue with Cla with Paula, sorry, and then I will say something about Yolanda's example. Uh, Paula, please help us. Yo tengo una pregunta. Oh yeah, tell me. Por qué en she is en, en la frase que lleva teacher está una a. She is a teacher. Oh, okay, yeah, good question. It's because we have something that is called articles. Articles. We have A or M, and this is for singular ways, for singular Pero nouns. Cuando es singular se usa el an, y cuando es, eh, no, cuando es plural se usa el an. No, we use A or N with both, I mean, with singular forms, only with singular. But let me give an example. 
Let me give an example. When you say she is a teacher, and when you say it is an apple, an apple. Sí. Cuando, es cuando inicia con una cuando, letra de consonante o con vocal, dependiente. Exactly. Very good. So we have sounds. Una vocal se usa el an. Good. We have consonant, consonant sounds. We have vowel sounds. So it depends on that. It depends on that. So your class must Va a depender de esos sonidos. Okay. No de la primera letra. No de la primera letra. Por ejemplo, teacher. teacher. Yeah, it's a consonant. And if you listen to the word teacher, teacher, so it begins with a consonant sound. Si escuchamos bien teacher, inicia con, una, con un sonido de consonante. But if you say apple, 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 it begins with a vowel sound. Es un sonido de vocal. Apple, apple. Y lo utilizamos con formas singulares. Okay. Teacher. Con formas singulares. Uh, yeah. Teacher. También. Eh, con respecto a la A, eh, yo he escuchado que algunas personas uh, lo pronuncian como, o sea, no la pronuncian. Por ejemplo, I'm a doctor. O I'm do a doctor. Uh, Repite again, please. ¿Puedo repetir otra vez? Ok. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Do you say, am I, am I a doctor? I, I am. guess. I don't I know. Am you... a doctor. Oh, yeah, good, good. Absolutely. You say, just like, ah, uh, ah. Uh, or you can say, like, when you pronounce the letter, A, A, A. Sí, pero you... pero yeah. en, en el caso de, por ejemplo, ahí está diciendo she is a teacher. Eh, ¿Es correcto decir she is a teacher? You can say, you can say in that way, yeah. You can, because you say a doctor or a doctor. Yeah. De las dos formas eh, se podría, es correcto. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is. Uh, by the way, Paula, is it clear? Sí. Okay. Sí. You're welcome. All right, uh, let's continue. I will go with Mercedes. Mercedes is going to give us another example. Mercedes? They are play soccer. Oh, okay. It is in the other way, Mercedes. It is in the other way. You just have to, you just have to change some ideas. They are soccer players. Soccer players. Soccer players. That is why. But that is fine. Thank you, Mercedes. That is a good example. Eduardo, please. They are with TV. They are. With TV. Washing, all right? Washing, okay. Washing. They are washing TV, okay, good, good. Yeah, we're using the verb be. Good. Only one thing, in this case, you're using another, it's another structure, but it's okay, it's okay. Acá estamos utilizando otra, digamos así, estructura. I mean, seguimos el mismo patrón, es decir, un sujeto, el verbo to be, la gente sí. Pero estamos utilizando un verbo en ing. Eso es diferente. Tenemos un verbo en nuestro cuerpo. Ya no, ya no sería subject, verb to be, plus complement. Now it is subject, plus verb to be, plus very nice form. Eso es lo que le llamamos. Vamos a ver más adelante, no se preocupen. Present continuous. Present continuous. El ejemplo, el ejemplo está bien, no se preocupen. It's okay. Uh, who's the teacher, sorry? Teacher, excuse me. Uh, Griselda, no listen uh, conversation. Oh, Griselda. Sorry. Negative. Mendoza, okay. Uh, by the way, ¿todos me escuchan? Yes. 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 
Yes, yes, teacher. Abuela, te pregunta, yes, yes. Si no me escuchan, yes. si no escucha, todos es porque es el problema es acá. Déjenme un segundo y solo voy a contestar a Crescenda. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Thank you, Rizalda. Very good. Let's continue. Well, um, what was the last one? I think. Let's go with Eduardo. It's Eduardo. Eduardo? Can you hear me? Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Let's go with Mirna. Mirna Madres, please. Give us your example. We are a student. Yeah, we are a students. Very good. We are a students. Oh yeah, this is this was the example that Eduardo gave us. They are watching TV. The example is good because you're using the, the verb to be in a in an appropriate way. El ejemplo está muy bien, Eduardo. Pero lo que decía, y aclaro, este ya es present continuo, pero eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. Es un tiempo verbal. Very good. Uh, yeah, Tony. Eh, hay una un orden, por decirlo de esta manera, al mencionar un verbo con respecto a lo que está realizando la persona. Por ejemplo, en lo que decía el compañero, que este, ajá, they are bueno, watching TV. Entonces ahí el verbo sería watch. Entonces, y en el que yo dije era they are soccer players. Entonces, pero yo lo dije al revés. Entonces, hay un orden, por decirlo de esta manera, al momento de mencionar el verbo. Oh, it, it depends. It depends because what was your, your sentence? Can you repeat it again? ¿Puedes repetir otra vez su, como me lo dijo? Que si hay un orden al momento de la escritura para colocar el verbo, o sea, la opción que está realizando la persona. Sí, sí lo hay, sí lo hay. Solo que, eh, que quisieras que nos repitiera su ejemplo, como lo dijo, they are play, say players, I think. Ah, es que como yo lo dije, they are play soccer. Entonces me da, bueno. Prácticamente lo dije como yo lo digo en español, digamos. Ellos Dígame. juegan, ajá. Dígalo en español, perdón. Por ejemplo, ellos um, están jugando fútbol o... Ah, ok. Yeah. Ajá, entonces siempre tiendo a realizar la traducción, digámoslo al inglés, en el orden que lo digo en español. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Yeah, we follow structures. Look at the difference. Voy a adelantar eso, pero eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. It is different because when you say they are soccer players, when you say soccer players, you're talking about, for example, Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, Neymar, Enrique, etc. Okay? Soccer players. We follow the structure. Subject, where to be, are, and the complement is soccer players because it's a noun. This is a noun, soccer players. It's a substantial, soccer players. Now, if you say they are playing soccer, it's different because this is an action. This is an action that it is happening, for example, at the moment. Let's say they are playing soccer now. Now. It is an action that is happening at the moment. Entonces, este, entonces, player, 
estoy refiriéndome a los jugadores. Yeah. De esa manera. Y en play a la acción que están realizando, que es que están jugando. Yeah. Because player is a noun. Uh -huh. Player es un sustantivo. And okay. playing is a verb. Un verbo en ING. Muy diferente. Eso es, es present continuous. Eso es un tiempo verbal. Son acciones que, que pasan o están pasando. Okay. Yeah. You, you have to follow the order. Set, the structure. Okay. Um, thank you, Mercedes, for asking. Mirna Batres, you, you gave us your example, right? You said, we are students. Por su ejemplo, ¿verdad, Diana? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Let's continue with Claudia. Claudia, please. Siempre con we, teacher. No, you can change. You can use another pronoun. I, you, etc. He is um, a doctor. He is a doctor, yeah. Good. Thank you, Claudia. Then me. I'm in the house now. Um, did you say I'm, um? I'm um? in the house now. Um, listen, um, 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 um in the house. Now, now, yeah, exactly. That is correct. Thank you, Alejandro. He is strong. He is strong. Yeah. Yeah. Kevin. She is a student. She is a student. Yeah. Thank you, Josué. Teacher, yo una pregunta. Yeah. yeah. Este, bueno, mi, mi ejemplo era we, we are going to, to the party, pero no sé si, si también entramos a lo mismo al ejemplo que puso el, el, el compañero. Yeah, it's similar. It's similar when, when Eduardo said they are watching TV. That is present continuous and this is present continuous too. We are going to the party. Eso también es presente continuo. Pero pero estamos utilizando, lo, lo que hay que recalcar acá es que estamos utilizando el verbo to be correctamente. We are. Ok. Ok, it's ok, no problem. El ejemplo está excelente, sí. solo que es especie de yeah. Thank you. Thank you for asking, Oscar. Let's go with Oscar, and then I will listen to Isenda Mendoza. She is beautiful. She is beautiful, yeah. Is beautiful. Thank you. Let's go with Griselda. She is a nurse. She is a nurse. Yeah, she is a nurse. Thank you, Griselda. Okay, listen. Something that I want to explain here related to Jolanda's example, and I listen to some others. Remember, you can use different, different. We have a variety of subjects. We can say my mother, we can say, um, for example, the students, we can say uh, Carlos, we can say Carla, etc. So remember, you can use a variety of subjects. They can vary. We cannot, we, we cannot only use uh, the subject pronouns, I, you, he, she, we, they. We can use all the subjects, all the contracts constructions like my mother my mother yes the students are are carlos yes yes carlo yes yes, yes. Uh, let's see dogs it's are are this is plural dogs dogs when you say a dog is Yes, yeah. Very good, thank you. All right, uh, moving on to the following part. Let's go with negative weight now, negative form. With negative form, and by the way, I don't know if someone has a question. Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? Oh, 
Okay, with the negative four, we continue with the same formula. See? Sweet. Yeah. Teacher. Y este, y, y, y en, la, en el, en la, ¿cómo le digo? En el uso del, del ver, vi, este, y, y siempre van a ser así la, las, las oraciones, ¿va? Porque, por ejemplo, bueno, los ejemplos que, que el compañero y la, y la compañera, y bueno, yo me he puesto, ¿va? Las oraciones siempre van a ser así. Por ejemplo, we are student, para, para este, simplificar el, 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 el ¿cómo se llama? El subject, el verbo y el complemento. Yeah, yeah, because we, we follow the formula or the structure. We have a subject, we have the verb be, and okay. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, let's go with negative for now. We continue with the same formula. We have a subject, we have the verb to be, we have a complement, but we did something. What is that? Not. Not because they are the way. Let me give you some examples. Subject, verb to be, plus not, finally, a compliment. I am not Google. He is not a swear. He is not a teacher. They are not friends. Okay? For example, if you say, I am not Hugo, I am not Hugo, I am William, I am not Hugo, I am um, Vicenda, right? He is not Jose, he is Orlando. That's why it's a negative way. You say, I am not. As you can see, we had some examples. Some examples, but we include not. So it means that it is a negative way. In my case, if I say I am not Alejandro, well, I am Alejandro, yeah, sorry. I am not uh, Eduardo. I am not Eduardo. Okay? I am Hugo. It's a negative way. In this case, we can use contractions. We can use contractions with a negative way. We can say I'm not, I'm not Hugo. Or we can say, he isn't, 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 equals, is not, aren't, equals, are not, okay? Isn't, is not, aren't, are not. We cannot use contraction with am because it is incorrect. We cannot do this, that is incorrect. Okay. We can make contractions only with is, is not and are not. Isn't, is not. Are not, aren't. That's why we had in here in the example. We can say, yeah, we can say I'm not. I'm different. I'm not cool. He isn't, that's right. She isn't, they aren't friends. They aren't friends. Isn't. Isn't. Aren't. Aren't. Okay? Very good. All right. Who can give me some examples? Some examples for negative form. Volunteers? Any volunteers? Um, uh, puedo decir uno? Yeah, please, please. Uh, bueno, she's not a doctor. She's not a doctor, okay. Uh, I will go with them. Maybe. Uh, I am not a nurse. Okay, I am not a nurse, okay. Yeah, yeah. Address. We aren't teacher. Okay, we aren't teachers. Okay. Okay. Yolanda. They are not six. They are not? They are not six. Six. You say six? Six. They are not? 
sick. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Sick. Yeah. Good. Sick. Yeah, say sick. Sick, no six. Sick. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Rwanda? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, Mercedes, please. Uh, we aren't uh, work, working school. Okay, repeat again. We aren't uh -huh. work, working a school. A school. Uh, at okay. school. Yeah, that is correct. Okay, you're using present continuous, but it's okay. No problem. Another possibility, Mercedes, you can say we aren't a school. So in that case, we are we are following the, this structure. Subject, verb to be, plus not, plus complement. We aren't a school. But if you say messages or in everybody, we aren't working at school, that is present continuous, but we're using the verb to be in a way. Estamos utilizando el verb to be in una forma correcta, so es que no hay problema. Thank you, Mercedes. I will go with Kevin. She's not my cousin. Not my cousin, yeah. Okay. Eduardo, please. They aren't not play, not play soccer. They aren't, sorry? They aren't not play soccer. Oh, okay. They are, you can say they are not, or you can say they aren't. They are not playing. You say soccer? No soccer? Yeah, okay. They are not playing soccer or they aren't playing soccer. But it's okay. Thank you, Eduardo. Alejandro, please. She is not a student. She is not? A student. Yeah, okay. Thank you. So, He isn't my brother. He isn't my brother, yeah. Good. And Irvin, please. They aren't a family. They aren't a family. Yeah, very good. Thank you. All right. Any questions about this? The negative form? Is everything clear? Thank you. Okay, we're going to practice now. We're going to practice. Si no tenemos preguntas, let's go to practice. Okay, now, what do you have to do? I need you to, oops, let's see, somebody else. Oh, Claudia, please help us. Yeah, I think you want to give us an example. They are not a Spanish student. They are not? A Spanish student. Yeah, they are not Spanish students. Thank you, Claudia. That is a nice example. All right, listen. What are we going to do? What I want to do on this part, we're going to look at the exercises chart. I need you to complete sentences with the correct part for your read. Complete sentences. Mendoza, please, yeah, help us. Give us an example. She is. She is. I'm not a barber. Again? One more time. He is? He is a not a barber. Oh, okay, okay. Listen, he is not a barber. Yes. He is not, repeat, he is not. He is not a barber. A barber, yeah. That's a good example. Thank you, Griselda. Okay, okay. It's a pleasure. Look at the exercises provided. I need you to complete the sentences with the correct form of the verb. This one's sure. right. We're gonna work now with these exercises. I'm gonna give you some time. We have 10 exercises. We're going to do the first one I think together, and then you will continue with the other ones. Okay, number one. Tell me what is the form? Donna, my best friend. Nice. Donna is my best friend. Yeah. Donna is 
my best friend. This is the first one. Donna mm -hmm. is my best friend. Okay. Now I need you to continue with the other ones. Number two until number ten. In your notebooks. In your notebooks. Okay. Vamos a completar esas oraciones. Los cuadernos. All of them are in affirmative form. Todos están en afirmativo. Ahorita les voy a asignar otra tarea extra. Va a ser por su cuenta. Van a. We're going to write these sentences in negative. Una vez terminemos con estas oraciones en, en afirmativo, ustedes les va a quedar de tarea escribir las oraciones en negativo. Let's go. I will give you some time. Va a dar un par de minutos. Ya casi va siendo hora. Ya vamos a discutir por no orar. Si gustan, pueden tomar captura de pantalla. En caso no terminamos con los ejercicios, vamos a discutir oral en un par de minutos porque casi es hora. Si hay dudas o preguntas, incluso. Now we are learning affirmative and negative form. Next week, we're going to use questions. Questions. Ahora solo nos estamos enfocando en forma afirmativa y negativa. La próxima semana vamos a, a platicar, vamos a aprender de las preguntas. Vamos a construir. Teacher, yo tengo una consulta con respecto a la creación de, la, de las 10 la, frases en forma negativa. ¿Serían estas que están de forma afirmativa convertirlas a negativa o serían 10 nuevas que serían negativas? No, you have to use these ones. You have to use these exercises. Once you finish with the affirmative form, you have to use them and you have to write them in negative form. For example, Donna is my best friend. Donna isn't my best friend. Donna isn't my best friend. Yeah. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Donna isn't is my best friend. This is what you have to do. Let's continue. La segunda podría ser Row, Room, and they, they are brother and sister. Yeah. Yeah, that is the answer, just one thing. When you say you have Room, 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 they, are brother. And they, that is the subject. You don't have to include they, because the subject is you know, Room and they. It could be Room and they, or they, they are. Rom and they, and they are. And they? Are brother and sister. But don't say Ron and they, they are. Because, you know, you can use Ron and they, or just as the pronoun they. Don't say this. Rom and they, they are. You can say Rom and they are brother and sister, or you can say, you can say, they are brother and sister. Okay. But yeah, that is the answer. Thank you. They are brother. Okay. By the way, listen, because it's, it's time. We will do something. We're going to discuss from three, number three, to six. Oh, we have a negative four in that case. Okay. Okay. Let's go with them from number three to six. Number two, we said. 
the class has said around a date or brother and sister. That is the primitive form. Have to construct the negative form. Number three, volunteer. What is it? My grandmother is 19 years old. Yeah, my grandmother is 19 years old. Sorry, 90 years old. Very good, princess. Number four. Somebody else? Eduardo. You are a good student. You are a good student, yeah. You are a good student. Are, that is a verb. Number uh, five, Oscar. My house is very pretty. Yeah, my house is very pretty. My house is very pretty. Very nice. So the verb is, is, it is, it is very pretty. All right. And let's go with the last one. Number six. I am not at home. Thank you. It is, I am not at home. That is a negative, in negative way. That is the only one that we have in negative way. So you have to construct it in affirmative. Okay. You have to do the opposite. Well, let's let's do, let's do the last ones. Number seven, yeah, let's do them. Number seven. Dad and I are in school right now. Yeah, Dan, Dan and I. And I are, are in school. In school. Right now, are exactly. Now. Are yeah, are because now. I'm saying Dan and I we. We are in school right now. Exactly. Thank you. Number eight. Follow for number eight. My, my book is respond of pages long. Yeah. Thank you, Dardo. My book is 300 pages long. Yeah. Number nine. My friends are funny. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. My friends are funny. Friend, my friends are funny. And the last one, number 10. The children is a summer. The time. children are. Okay, I listened to William. William um, said the children is. What is it? Children? Hola. Tell me your answer. Tell me your answer. What is it? The children is. Is, is or are. I understand that it's them. We are talking about them. So they, they are at the summer camp. Yeah. No sé si así se pronuncia, pero yo creo que así es. <laughs> Listen to me. I repeat. The children are at a summer camp. The children are at, at a summer at are. summer camp. Camp. Yeah. That's right, and it is R. Really? R. At summer. At summer or summer. At summer. At a summer. At a summer. Can you hear me? At summer. At a summer. At a summer. Camp. At summer. Camp. Summer. 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 At at summer come. Okay. Summer. Summer. No, no summer. 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 Thank you. Summer. 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 Es que... Summer. Ah. Summer, yeah. Summer. Summer. Exactly. Oh, Good. Thank you, Fatima. And that is the answer. That is the answer. Because when we say is, or when we use is, because we have the child. Child is at a summer camp, or the children are. That's why in this case is are. Are in this case is. Yes. All right. Well, uh, any questions, everybody, about the verb to be? Thank you guys for sharing your ideas. Remember, your homework is that you have to complete, but you have to rewrite the sentences in negative way. Tenemos que reescribir las oraciones. En negativo ahora. Y hay una que debe pasar la posibilidad. ¿Ok? 
questions about this? Esa será una práctica para usted. Okay? Teacher, excuse me. Ya. Yeah. Podría repetir otra vez la indicación es que me quede sin señal. Sure. Uh, what you have to do now that you have all the answers, you need to rewrite the sentence in negative way. Ahora vamos a reescribir las oraciones que están en afirmativo en negativo. Hay una que está en negativo, la vamos a pasar al contrario. Es la número 6. Ok. Eso es lo que tenemos que hacer. Okay. Esa va a ser una práctica. Thank you. Para You're welcome. Any questions before to go? Preguntas antes de finalizar? No question. No question. Bueno. Lo último, quiero solo verificar si todos están en, en mi lista. Marcelino, no se nos unió. Uh, Marvin. No. Um, let's see who is. Rosana. Está acá. Okay, bueno, solo, es, solo ellos están pendientes. No se vieron ese día. Bueno, um, vamos a, a terminar la próxima semana. Por cierto, bueno, voy a hacer eso, esa pregunta. ¿Alguien tiene contacto con Marcelino? ¿Alguien lo conoce? Marcelino. Mejía. ¿No? No. Creo que no. No se preocupe, lo voy a contestar mejor. All right, well, everybody, this is all for today. Thank you so much for being here. This first week, we will continue next week, next Monday, with the second week. Have a great weekend, please, everybody. Stay safe, relax during the weekend, and practice, practice a lot. Keep going. Okay. We'll meet you, we'll meet together next Monday, okay? Have a good night. See you Monday. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Good night. 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 Take, nice. Thank you. Take care. Good night. Bye. Good night. See you on Monday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.